It says, it was seen what happened unto them. See no more, lest it was seen happen unto you. The Lord is here tonight. He will heal your body. He will break every yoke in your life. I want an number say, Amen. He will forgive your sin. He will set you free from sin. He will cleanse your sin. He will turn your life around. And he will heal all your sicknesses. I said he will heal all your sicknesses. He will conquer every foe and every enemy. He will destroy every work of the devil. He will solve every problem. He will set every captive free. There is power here tonight. Present power. Prevailing power. Triumphant power. The power that will roll your problems away. But he says you come out of sin. And you come to the healer. You come to the redeemer. When you do what he has told you to do. A miracle will follow. Number one. The privilege and power for sonship. Number two, the promise of power over sickness. Number three, the promise and the, the price of power for the supernatural. The price of power for the supernatural. To draw the supernatural power of God from heaven is something God has said we ought to do. He has power to solve every problem. He has power to set you free tonight. Because with God, all things are possible. Matthew chapter 19. Matthew chapter 19. I'm reading from verse 26. Matthew chapter 19. I'm reading from verse 26. It says, uh, look at this. It says, but Jesus beheld them and he said unto them. Jesus beheld them and said unto them. With men, this is impossible. Look at your situation. With men, this is impossible. Look at that calamity there. With men, this is impossible. Look at that habitual sin. You may try and try and try to break that habitual sin. You cannot break that power of sin by yourself. With men, this is impossible. Look at that incredible disease. You tried everything you could try, but that disease is still there. With men, this is impossible. And then Jesus said, but with God, all things are possible. But with God, all things are possible. Tonight, that possibility has come. Tonight, that miracle is coming. In Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1. I'm reading from verse 37. Luke chapter 1, reading from verse 37. Because of the power from, on, from heaven, supernatural, extraordinary, miraculous. And tonight is that night. And it says in Luke chapter 1, verse 37. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. With God, nothing shall be impossible. What do you do? What do you do? How do you connect with the supernatural power of God? What do you do tonight that the power of God will flow into your life? Number one, repent and believe. Repent and believe. The word repent is similar to the word return. You have been going in a particular direction, a wrong direction. And then the Lord is saying, Return. Return. 
from the way of evil. Return from the way of sinning. Return from the habit of wickedness. Return from that lifestyle of deception. Return. You repent and believe. Number two, you receive and become. You receive Jesus and become a child of God. He says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and a heavy lady, and I will give you rest. You repent, that means return. You come out, come out of sin, come to the Savior. You believe on the Lord Jesus, you believe on Him as your Savior. You return and believe. You receive and you become. You receive Jesus and become a child of God. You become saved. You become healed. You become delivered. You become blessed. Number one, you repent and you believe. Number two, you receive and you become. Number three, you renew and belong. You renew your commitment. You renew your consecration. I belong to the family of God. It is not the people are running after you. Come to church, come to church. You say, I belong. It's not the people are saying, won't you come? Eh, I don't have chance. Eh, I, but you said you gave your life to the Lord. Eh, that was on the field at the crusade. But now you know eh, I, there are many, a lot of uh, challenges. You, you renew your commitment to the Lord and you belong to the family of God. Supernatural so, things will happen to you. I said miracles will happen to you. The power of God will touch your life. Number one, repent. Number two, receive. Number three, renew. Number one, believe. Number two, become. Number three, belong. I belong to Christ. I belong to Jesus. He is my Savior. He is my Redeemer. I've accepted Him. I will go with Him. I will never leave Him. I will never forsake Him. I belong to the family of God. Supernatural so power will begin to flow into your life. Healing will be begin to flow into your life. Deliverance will begin to flow into your life. It's going to happen right now. I said it's going to happen right now. What is it going to happen? I said, what is it going to happen? When will it happen? The key is in your hand. The key is your hand. The prize of power for the supernatural. And you say, Lord, I come. Lord, I come. And I will never go back anymore. Lord, I come. I will never go back anymore. I repent. I return. I come to the Lord. I leave all my sins in reality. And I come to Jesus to be my Savior. Will you do that? I said, will you do that? And I'm going to answer. Will you do that? Amen. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. Something good is coming your way. It's bowed and eyes closed. If you want now to take this step, you're not going to be a child of Satan anymore. You're not going to be a product of darkness anymore. You're not going to remain in your dungeon anymore. You say, Lord Jesus, I believe you tonight. Lord Jesus, I give my heart to you tonight. Lord Jesus, I repent tonight. You will raise up your hand wherever you are. Lord, I am here. I am not for Satan. I am for Jesus. I am not for drunkenness. I am for Jesus. I am not for adultery. I am for Jesus. I am not for drunkenness. I am for Jesus. I am not for showing. I am for Jesus. I am not for idol worship. I am for Jesus. Wherever you are, 
you raise up your hand. If you are not seen up your hand, you will stand up. You will say, I declare for Jesus. Tonight is my Savior. I declare for Jesus. Tonight is my Redeemer. I declare for Jesus. I'm going to be a child of God. I'm going to be a child of God. I'm coming out of darkness. I'm coming out of evil. I'm coming out of wickedness. You raise up your hands over there on top there, over here in front of me, over there on that side. You raise up your hand, you stand up. If you're standing up because you belong to Jesus, if you're standing up because you're repenting of your sin, if you're standing up because you come out of darkness, you come to the light. You take a step of faith and say, Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Take whatever you have there. Come right to the front here. Come right to the front here. I'm coming to Jesus. 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 Come here now. Come to Jesus now. Out of darkness. Out of drunkenness. Out of adultery. Out of fornication. Out of wickedness. Out of fighting. Out of gang. Out of occultism. Out of paths of darkness. Out of secret society. Out of evil. Lord, I come. 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 And break the chain behind you. And burn the bridges behind you. I will not go back into that adultery again. I will not go back to that fornication again. I will not go back to idol worship again. I will not go back to drunkenness again. I will not go back to fighting again. I will not go back to violence anymore. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. I will be a child of God. Lord, I come. I will be a child of God. Lord, I come. I repent and I believe. I repent and I believe. Lord, I come. The Lord is waiting for you. Don't stay with Satan. Don't stay with the wicked one. He will destroy your life. He will drag you to hell fire. But to say, Lord, I come out. Up there, I come. Up there, I come. Up there, I come. Down below there, I come. You are hearing my voice on the side of the road. Come. Come. Come out of darkness. Come out of wickedness. Come out of your sin. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. As you come, close your eyes. As you come, begin to pray. As you come, declare to the Lord. Now I believe. Now I believe. Now I believe. Jesus died for me. To take my sins away. And to forgive me. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. He wants you to open your mouth and tell him, I want to be forgiven. I want my life to change. I want to be a new creature. I want eternal life. I want eternal life. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. He will hear your voice. He will hear your voice. He will hear your voice. Tell him, I come out. I come out. I come out of that evil sin. I come out of that sin. I will not go back there. I will not go back there. My life is different from tonight. My life is new from tonight. I believe Jesus is now my Savior. I believe Jesus is now my Lord. And Jesus is my Master. From tonight, what he says I will do. I will follow the Lord. I will follow the Lord. I repent and believe. I repent and believe. I receive and be I receive and belong. I receive and belong. I receive and I become. I become a child of God. And I renew my commitment to the Lord. I will follow Jesus. I decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. The world behind me and the cross before me. No turning back. No turning back. All those evil things, they are gone. I'm on my way to heaven. No turning back. No turning back. Promise the Lord. Promise the Lord. You repent and believe. 
you receive and you become a child of God. You renew your commitment and belong to the family of God. Have you done that? Answer me, have you done that? I said, have you done that? Raise up your hand, raise up your hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this glorious moment. Many are called. Few are chosen. The people who truly believe are chosen. The people who turn away from their sin, they have chosen. As I've called these people, and they turn away from their sin. Choose them in Jesus' name. Forgive their sins. Change their lives. Bring new life to them. Eternal life to them. And let the power of sonship come to them in Jesus' name. Let your spirit be a witness in their hearts. They are now children of God. And give them the grace to go and sin no more. The grace to remain in the kingdom of God. To belong to the family of God. And not to go back to their sins anymore. Be a witness in their hearts. That you are forgiving them. Be a witness in their hearts. That you have saved them. That their names are reaching the book of life in heaven. Thank you Lord because I know you have answered. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Hold on. Our counselors are there. And they will ask you for some details. Or they might just give you the paper to fill the paper correctly. We're doing that so we can help you more. I repent and I believe. I repent and I believe. I receive and I become. I renew and I belong. Do it properly. And then after we finish this now, the miracle prayer will come to you. Your miracle is about to come to you. You will receive. Somebody there said you will receive. Our state of us here will take over now and help us. Pastor Ima Obodo. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I can't hear our people. I said, Praise the Lord. The miracle time has come. The miracle power of God is coming upon your life. Are you ready for the miracle? Where are you there? You need healing. You need deliverance. You need a miracle. You need the power of God to touch you and to roll away the problem. It's coming your way. You raise up one hand. You lay the other hand where you have the problem. And then we're going to pray. Where you hear the final amen. That miracle will be there in your body. Final amen. It is done. Give me a good amen. And then after that, you check up yourself. You'll see.